Hi, my name is Frank Polinsi, Director and Buyers and Vendors Advocate at Advantage Property Consulting. Welcome to our market update. Well, the auction volumes have been low uh, due to the lockdown. A lot of properties are still waiting to get on the market. Um, so we're seeing auctions only allowed via Zoom at the moment. Uh, the auction numbers are only about 150 to 250 each weekend and clearance rates have been very high in the 90s. Uh, this will now increase uh, when we see private inspections obviously back, so we'll see now more options increase, but we're not going to get the super Saturdays we used to see where there's over a, a thousand options each weekend. Uh, when we hit our vaccination targets, it's proposed the end of October, um, live auctions uh, outdoors will be permitted again, so that will definitely uh, be a welcome uh, sign for the property market as live auctions tend to always create that uh, you know extra energy and, and the extra results as well. Well we've seen some massive records in the Melbourne marketplace uh, myself uh, losing the Elwood record recently to a property that sold on Ormond Esplanade for 9.4 million. Um, we held the record earlier for a 6.82 million so smashed out of the park and also there was another property in Bowen Crescent in Carlton North which uh, sold for 8.375 million smashing the previous six million plus record there as well so we are seeing some you know record results we saw one in Lorimer Street in Port Melbourne a commercial property which sold for 81 million uh, the owners paid around 30 million for that seven years previously so we're seeing some unprecedented results across the board uh, we saw in Butler Street Brighton a property sell for over 500,000 above reserve Euston Street Malvern um, also a similar result 507 over reserve and a duplex in uh, Stanley Grove in Canterbury sold for 788,000 over reserve. So, uh, you know, unprecedented times with some of these results uh, being outstanding with multiple bidders at most uh, competitive auctions. Investors and developers are starting to come back into the marketplace. We've seen that in the last uh, few weeks at some of the auction results. Um, we're also seeing that lifestyle change continue to dictate um, in terms of the market. The Mornington Peninsula has become very, very popular in a lot of the coastal areas, but uh, it has become you know, popular over a period of time. The last decade, uh, we've seen the Mornington Peninsula suburbs of St. Andrews Beach, Dramana and Mount Eliza um, increase uh, in the last decade from about 110 to 134%. Please don't hesitate to get on our website, check out information about our buyer's advocate, seller's advocate, property management, and our group lock purchases, and we we'll look forward to seeing you next time.